So this exercise is related to astrophysics or you can also say the space physics. Uh, already I shared this exercise with you as a weekly homework. So the solar system contains sun, planets, moon, asteroids, comet. State the name of the planet closest to the sun. Which is the closest planet to the sun? You can use mic, chat, or screen annotation to answer. Which planet is closest to the sun? That's right. Uh, so Mercury. So the yeah, you can use mic, chat, screen annotation. What is easy? That's Mercury. Describe the difference between a planet and the moon. How the planet differ from the moon? Look, planet move around the star, revolve around the star where moon revolve around the planet. So moon orbits the planet while the planet orbits the star. That's good, Basu. So that is the difference. The moon orbits a planet while the planet orbits the star. Then two differences between the asteroid and the comet. Like how the asteroid and comets are different from each other. So what, what is the uh, difference between asteroid and comet? Be, basically, yeah, asteroids are rocky where comets are icy, that is one. Or comets are giant snowballs while, while, while asteroids are rocky object, that is one difference. And the second thing, the path of the comets are elliptical. So the comet's path is more elliptical. Compared to asteroid. The path of a comet is also irregular compared to asteroid. Asteroids, most of them are in asteroid belt. The planet closest to the sun orbit the sun in 88 days. State two reasons why the Earth takes longer to orbit the sun. Like, like for us, we have 365 days. So what are the two reasons why Earth is taking longer? Because first thing, as I mentioned, those planets which are far from the sun, they are moving slower and it has to cover, a, yeah, it has a large orbit. So one reason is that, that it has a large orbit. And the second reason is that it is moving slower. So both leads to the greater time. Yeah, distance from a sun is more so. It ha, or you can also say the orbit or the circumference of the orbit is larger. And the second point you can mention that it is taking um, or moving slower. Then state the time for a light to travel from sun. So how much time the light is taking from sun to us? So it is about 8.3 minutes. So what we see, that is actual position of the earth, sun. 8.3 minutes before. And use your answer, calculate the distance from sun to earth. So how you work, look, if this is representing a sun and here's the earth, so we know the time is 8.3 minutes. And what is the speed of the light? The speed of the light, you should know that is 300 million meters per second. So time should be in seconds. So we have to convert the minute into seconds. So we'll multiply by 60. So that will be 8.3 times 60, which is 498 seconds. So when we work out, we have the formula speed is distance divided by time. So if we need the distance, it will be speed multiplied by time is distance. The speed of the light, because the light traveled to us, so how uh, the speed of the light 
it's a fixed value 300 million meters and the time it took that is uh, 498 seconds so you multiply them distance will be 498 multiplied by 300 million meters which is 1.49 exponent 11. So the distance is equals to 1.49 into 10 power 11 and the unit will be meter. Is it uh, clear this one? How we work out the distance between the earth and this is also known as a one astronomical unit. 1.49 or 1.5 exponent 11. No, it's it should be 10 to the power 11 because it's an astronomical unit. Uh, it should be 10 power 11. When you solve 300 million meters multiplied by 498, you will get the answer as 1.49 exponent 11.